What's up YouTube, it's your favorite cousin Trip and I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another banger, I'm back with another banger. You already know what time it is, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe or at least consider subscribing. You know, go watch a couple other videos if that's what you need to do. But after you do that, go ahead and subscribe because this trip are plugged and we lit. If you're already part of the fam, you already know what to do, man. Go ahead and thumbs up this video before we even get into it because this video... It's lit, you know what I'm saying? Now, we gonna switch it up a little bit because you know, uh, a lot of y'all been asking me, you know, um, for more cooking things, you know, because you know, um, they call me Chef Boy Ali, you know, my family. Okay, they don't call me that, but you know, I like to call myself that when I'm in the kitchen. So, um, <laughs> now when I'm cooking up. It's a little different this time, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to hear none of y'all in the comments telling me uh, what I should have did or how I should have did it because y'all don't know how to make this. You know what I'm saying? This is something different. Okay, let me um, go ahead and... We're going to be cooking up some crack. Yeah, crack. And not the kind of crack, y'all, you know... Auntie and them used to be smoking back in the 80s, 90s. Some of them still smoking it to this day. You never know. They just different kinds nowadays. You know, yeah. Um, we going to be cooking up some cracked grapes. Cracked grapes. Now, I'm going to give you all a disclaimer. What is it? Disclaimer? I'm going to give you all a disclaimer. If you really uh, smoked crack before, you don't really want to do this. You know what I'm saying? This ain't the... um. This ain't the recipe for you, you know, because that means you got an addictive personality and uh, you might be addicted to it. And I want y'all hitting me up, going out there, you know, trying to find grapes and all of that kind of stuff. I know it seems like it's healthy or whatever the case may be, but if you eat too many of them, you know, it can go bad. So, uh, yeah, we're going to cook some crack, crack grapes. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm going to show y'all how to. Pick it up now. A lot of y'all probably wondering what crack grapes is. So I'm gonna show y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just stay with me in this video, man. We about to get it cracking, man. You know, I might go on the corner and sell these, you know, for uh ten dollars a pop. Holla at your boy. They you see me on the television. I know you see me on the YouTube. But you don't know me in real life, little homie. You better play it cool. Love you, cousin Shrew. If you don't like me, then do somebody. You mad about it, then do somebody. You broke, nigga, then do somebody. You ain't getting bitches, then do somebody. Do somebody. Do somebody. Do somebody. Boy, you better do somebody. Okay, so what you gonna need for this video? You know what I'm saying? You're going to need uh, some grapes. Now, I got the big, juicy ones. You know what I'm saying? The big, and I'd already tested these at the store. You know how they be, you know, when they walk through the store, they picking grapes off. And, you know, that's why I don't like buying grapes unless it's a wrap package because all y'all fingers been in it. You know, picking off grapes. Some of y'all go to the store, you know, uh, just to eat. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be at Costco's and, you know, uh, BJ's and all of that, walking through the store, getting all them free tests or whatever. But, you know, um, I got me some grapes. You need that, you know, big, juicy. They taste really, really good. And you're going to need a bag of Jolly Ranchers. You know what I'm saying? Now, as you can see, I already got some of the Jolly Ranchers, you know, um, separated right here. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. But, you know, I got some more. Bow, you know what I'm saying. Um, what else you gonna need is um some corn syrup, sir syrup. You know what I'm saying. This ain't lean, you know, so don't try to go drinking it, you know, uh, by itself. This is corn syrup, and when you cook this up, you know what I'm saying, it's gonna make you a nice candy, you know. Uh, but you gotta cook it to a certain degree. What else you gonna need? <clears throat> you gonna need some sugar. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of y'all already got this in your tank. So you, you know, just, okay, let me stop. You gonna need some sugar, you know what I'm saying? And I got some food coloring, you know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, when I mix this stuff up, I want, I want a nice, pretty color with it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put a little food color in there and make it a little red, you know what I'm saying? And uh, you gonna need some toothpicks. 
you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to stick these in the grape and you're going to, you know, it, let me show y'all, you know, what, what, what it do. You know what I'm saying? But the first thing you want to do is you want to wash your grapes. Now, you know, <clears throat> some of y'all don't do that. You know, y'all don't wash y'all grapes. You know, um, but that's important. You know what I'm saying? Take them grapes out and um, we're going to wash them. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I'm going to do is, let me put this down right chair. There we go. You know, um, look at these big, juicy, beautiful grapes. Look at that. Look like a little baby. Rock a bye, baby on the treetop. Now, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick these off. You know, um, my hands are already clean. I didn't wash them. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, we're going to wash these grapes. Pick them off. Look how big these grapes is, man. Look at that. Mm, I want to eat it. Should I? No. You know what I'm saying? Um, these grapes look like uh, some of y'all nut sacks. But what we're going to do is pick these grapes off. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do that. Bow, bow, bow. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. When I tell y'all these is gonna be so good, even though I ain't never made them before, I just know they're gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? Because everything I do. Do it the best. Now, what you want to do is you want to take them grapes. You see them right there. You know what I'm saying. You want to rinse them things off. You don't want no dirty grapes. See that? Oh, dang. My bad. Yeah, you want to rinse them things off. Get them in the water. Just rinse it around a little bit. And wash the grapes off. Now, I'm gonna wash these off. And I'm going to show y'all the next step. You know what we got to do on this. You know what I'm saying? Follow these steps. And I'm telling you, it's going to it's gonna pop. Okay, I'm back. Now, um, I didn't already uh, stuck all the grapes. You know, uh, that was a lot of sticking. You know, um, if this was the OnlyFans uh, uh, page, I'd be rich from all the sticking I done done. Um, this is how it looks. You know what I'm saying? Once all your grapes is uh, penetrated, you know what I'm saying? No pun intended, you know. Um, so I'm going to sit them there. You know, you want to get prepared. You know, you want to get everything prepared before, you know, you start doing the nitty gritty, you know, because, you know, once it's time and that uh, sugar and stuff start cooking, you know, you want to cook it up to 300 degrees. And once it gets hot, that's the cracking stage. You know, you want a nice, you know, like candy apples crisp. You know what I'm saying? You want that type of you know, consistency, you know what I'm saying? So you want to get that stuff hot, you know? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna prepare, you know, uh, my candy. Just like candy, I can feel it when you walk. Even when you talk, it takes over me. It's just like candy, candy. I wanna know, can you feel it too? Y'all don't know nothing about that cameo. You know what I'm saying? You don't know nothing about that cameo. Oh, let me get this ready too. Oh yeah, I forgot one of the major steps of the whole process. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. So now what you want to do, you know, you see I got all this uh, candy, Jolly Ranchers, you know, and um, I like to use Jolly Ranchers. Got to unwrap all these, which, you know, maybe I could have did this a little bit before, you know what I'm saying? But whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is. We're going to get it cracking and popping and percolating. You want to, uh, you know, get you a Ziploc bag because what we're going to do is we're going to unwrap all of these candies and we're going to crush them. You know what I'm saying? Because once you put these on the grapes, it's going to give it a nice, beautiful color and texture and all of that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
So yeah, do all of this. You know, if you got somebody to help you, you know, a man, a, you know, a ladybug staying over for the night, you know, maybe they can help you. You know, um, but yeah, I'm gonna unwrap all of these and uh, you gonna see what it do. Then we gonna really get it popping. But you know, I just wanted to say, you know, um, while I got y'all here, um, cousins, <sighs> Y'all know I love y'all, right? You know what I'm saying? But y'all got to stop hitting me up, asking me, you know, uh, if I could tell you if your man interested in you or whoever it is, you know, somebody you like and or whatever the case may be. You know, if you got to ask me the question, you know, if you got to ponder, wonder, question, think um, too hard about it, then they don't want you. Brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, if somebody wants you, they gonna let it be known that they want you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna have to think about it. They gonna make time for you. You know, you, you trying too hard, you know, to get this person's attention and, and they not giving you nothing back in return. You know, you sitting up there watching their social media, seeing when they came online and you know, you hit them up about two hours ago. They still ain't responded back to you. But you see, you know, they've been on social media in the last 30 minutes. They ain't interested in you. You know what I'm saying? Stop trying to force something that ain't, you know, meant to be. If don't nobody want you, let them go. You know what I'm saying? Be with somebody that really, really wants you. Because ain't nothing better than somebody that's really interested in you. A lot of y'all, you know, y'all be, you know, I hate to say this, but... <sighs> Y'all, you know, need to start dating down a little bit. You know, some of the people that y'all crushing on and, you know, liking and all that kind of stuff, y'all ain't on that caliber. You know what I'm saying? It, that's just the way the game goes. You know what I'm saying? Um, I ain't saying that, you know, you can't have, um, you know, um, Stefan, but you more of an Urkel person. You know what I'm saying? Just find somebody, you know, that wants you. You know what I'm saying? I, let me say this. You know, the best thing that you could do, you know, uh, to get revenge. No, no, let me say revenge. Yeah, I'm going to say revenge. On um, somebody who ignored you and didn't respond to your messages and didn't give you the attention that you wanted, get your money up. Look good. Get your body right. You know what I'm saying? Go get your teeth bleached. Uh, you know, uh, if you got um, money, go get one of them BBLs. You know, get that fat transferred from your, you know, uh, belly to your booty. You know, save up, get you a breast job. Or, you know, hey, to each his own. Do whatever you got to do to make you. Go to the gym. You know, uh, cardio, work it out. Get your money up. Go to school. Get some education. And I'm telling you. You do that, that's the best way to shit on somebody. And then when they see you shining, glowing and uh, doing your thing and you looking good and all these other people that they, you know, ignored you for ain't shit after they done found out these people ain't what they said they was, you know, then you got one up on them. You feel me? And then you could be like, nah, I'm cool, partner. You know what I'm saying? You ain't want me way back then, but how about now? You know what I'm saying? The best way is to get your money up, shine, get a great job, come rolling through. You know what I'm saying? And and just you know, uh, you know, just look at them. You know, just for a quick second. You know what I'm saying? Don't look too long, making them think they want you. They gonna be like, "What's up, man? Ain't you uh so and so? Yeah, you know, what's up? How you been? Oh, I've been great, wonderful, excellent. Can't you see? Yeah, man. Yeah, you remember who I am? No, who is you? Oh, damn, it's like that. Yeah, my nigga, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? You was ignoring me, and you know, look, if a person wants you, they going to show you. And that's the thing with men or women. You know, if they really into you, they going to let you know it. They going to make a way to spend time with you. They going to make a way to come see you. They going to make a way to you know communicate with you if a person not trying to communicate with you let it go you know what i'm saying if they only hitting you up when they all out of uh, other options 
and they only hit you up after midnight. Mm -mm. Some of y'all cool with being, you know, the little jump off after midnight because a little piece of something is better than nothing at all is what you're thinking. It's what you feel. But when that happens, you feel empty and, and lonely inside. You know what I'm saying? When they get up, you know, right after turn they back to you, you know what I'm saying? Pull up their pants. You know, don't even give you a towel to wipe your mouth off. You sitting up there asking for some mouthwash or, you know, um, asking, can they suck your nipples? There ain't nobody trying to suck your nipples, bro. It, it ain't that type of situation. You know, you can do that when I leave. You know what I'm saying? I did what I came to do. You know, it, it's time to go. They don't want you like that. You know, and half the time, you never seen them when they were sober. They only call you when they drunk. You know, you don't think about that. If your dude ain't never slept with you sober, you need to be second guessing that. That's a problem. You know, like, you only come over on Saturdays after midnight. What's up with that? You know, I ain't gonna keep going on and on and on, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all get the point, but I'm just saying cousins. You know, I know you know you you want my advice or something, but this is something that I'm just telling y'all. Stop hitting me up, asking if you know if somebody interested in you. Because if you gotta ask me, then the answer is no. I'm sorry, that I gotta break it to you like that. The answer is no, flat out. Now I'm gonna go on ahead and um finish you know uh, opening up these Jolly Ranches. And I'm going to show y'all, you know, the next step in a minute. They don't want you. You hear me? They don't want you. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, so uh, I got finished unwrapping the um, Jolly Ranches, as you can see them right there. You know, nice, beautiful color. Now, you know, it's up to you if you want to, you know, um, separate them and, and do a different color on each grape but you know i ain't got time for that and most of y'all you know um queer anyway so we just gonna do the rainbow you know mix it all together so um what you want to do next is um you want to take a plastic bag like this and you want to put them in there you know what i'm saying like so see how sticky that stuff is put them in there A lot. I'm gonna get another bag for the other one. Put your candy in there. Put your candy in there. Put your candy in there. Uh, uh, put your candy in there. Uh, uh, put your candy in there. Put your candy in the bag. 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 Ooh. Put your candy in the bag. 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 Hey, put your candy in there. Uh, uh, put your candy in there. Let me stop. Sounds like a nice house record though. And then what you want to do is, um, oh Jesus, uh, you want to crush this. Now I ain't got nothing to crush it with. Maybe I should have thought about that before. I ain't got no hammer. I ain't got. I don't want to use a bottle of wine. You know. Um. Do I got some pliers? Oh Lord. A can good or something? Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay. Well. No You got to make do with what you got to make do. And I don't want to hear none of y'all talking about some y'all make real yams and all of that kind of stuff with fresh potatoes. You know, I ain't had time for that. So I bought some of these. And if you don't know nothing about that, then, hey, it's just as good. I'm from the hood, man. I don't need all that fancy. I'm going to crush these and um, I'll be right back and show y'all how it is. Okay, guys. So. I'm back and, uh, you know, um, I got the candy crushed up, you know, um, come to find out I had a blender, you know, and I tried to use, you know, this little blender thing, but what I found out that it was just making the candy too 
uh, powdery. You know what I'm saying? And I, I want some nice little chunks in there. You know what I'm saying? So I crushed up the candy. And this is how it looks. You know what I'm saying? You got nice chunks of it in there. You know, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to dip these in there once we get the other stuff cracking the line. I told you we got the grapes. They all dried off. Ready. We got the candy. That's ready. And, you know, um, now all we got to do is uh, make the syrup. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we about to get that cracking. Um, and I'll be back. Yeah. I, and this is the ghetto version. I know y'all might go, you know, look up some other versions. They get in a nice little kitchen and everything set up right. You know, that's the boring way. You know, here at Triple Plug, we keep it 100. You know, we, we doing this, you know, we doing it this way. You know what I'm saying? It's still going to be just as good. Probably even better, you know. Holla at your boy. Okay, so I'm back. Now, you know, over there in them bougie channels, they're going to tell you, you know, get you some parchment paper, which you probably should. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I ain't got no parchment paper. So what I'm going to do is um, use this paper, aluminum paper. And, um, you know, we're just going to work it out. You know what I said? Like I said, this is my first time making this. So, um, it's going to be what it's going to be now. What I want to do is I want to bring everything over here, you know, close to me. Because you don't want to be running over there trying to get stuff and all of that. So, you, you want to be prepared, you know, um, have everything right there with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's the way you do that. You know, I'm going to get these grapes. I'm going to bring them over here. You know what I'm saying? Hi, yeah. Move some of that out the way. And we're going to get this thing popping. Now, what you want to do, you know, um, like I told you, you need... Your corn syrup. You need some sugar. And we're going to do a little red food coloring, you know, because when you mix that all together, it's just going to be this color. You know, you want to add a little pizzazz and spunk to it. You know, you can get any color you want. Blue, green, orange, yellow, butter, whatever you want to do. We're going to do a little bit of red. Get that ready. Um... So yeah, I'ma turn the stove on, and uh, we gonna get it cracking. Now I had a measuring cup, you know what I'm saying? Let me go. I'm gonna do my measuring cup, Lord Jesus. Okay. Um, okay. Now I got my measuring cup. Now what I want to do is I want to pour. A cup of sugar in here. You know, if you um diabetic, this might not be the treat for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And like I said, if you ever did, you know, crack for real, this ain't gonna get it. You know, um, we're gonna do a, a, a cup of sugar. I don't know if that look like. You know, let's just go with a cup and a half. You know what I'm saying? That'll work. Now, I'm going to turn this fire on. And I'm going to turn it on high. You know what I'm saying? And um, we're going to let this heat up. And I, I'll be right back. After this small um, commercial break. Okay, so I'm back. Um, and now what I want to do is, you see I got a spoon, you know, we're going to do about uh, three or four tablespoons. Let's go four tablespoons of water. You know, um, we're going to do one and a half cup of sugar. Like I said, we're going to do the food coloring. And we're going to do this. Now see, this is when it really starts to get popping. That's hot. It's already getting hot. Let me go ahead and put this in.
I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna put the four cups of sugar in. And I'm gonna do four tablespoons of water. That's one, two, three. Can y'all see this? Four. I can't hold the camera, so you know what I'm saying? Y'all just gonna have to, you know, figure it out. Uh, you're supposed to use a wooden spoon, which I don't have. So I'm gonna just thug it out. And I'm stirring that all up. That's your candy. Right there. Let me get this thing so I can show y'all what I'm working with. Uh, okay, so this is the. Y'all see that? You want to keep stirring it. It got to get real hot, though. I'm going to put this food coloring in it. Um, damn. See, this is why I can't be cooking and holding the camera and all this. This is going to be the most ghetto cooking show ever. Lord Jesus, somebody help us. Uh, yeah, look at the grapes for a minute. Okay, that stuff is boiling. You know, I got to take this paper off of here. Lord Jesus, I hope these turn out right or this ain't, this going to be an epic fail. If these don't turn out right, y'all ain't seeing this video. Okay, so... I'm gonna put a couple drops in. Like one, two, three, four. Oh, that might have been a little bit. And I'm gonna stir that. Ooh, you see how that color is turning? You see that? That's gonna be a nice red color. Okay, I wanted a little more red, you know what I'm saying? It's Halloween, why not go all out? I hope this don't hurt you, do it. That'll be good enough. You know, um, blood red. Now I'm stirring that thing. I'm stirring it. Now it's supposed to get up to 300 degrees. And that's when it's at the temperature where it can, you know, actually turn into candy but at the end of the day then I ain't got no thermometer can you use the type of thermometer you uh, use to check your temperature uh, I got one of those you know I've been checking people before they come around me but I don't know if that's gonna work for this Lord Jesus, somebody help me. I'm going to just, you know, cook this and hope it goes up to 400 degrees. You know, uh, if not, y'all will never see the video. You did. It's boiling, though. Yeah, man, they should have a uh, thermometer built into the stove. You know, uh, somebody make that. Maybe I'll make this shit. Is that red enough? Y'all think that's red enough? Okay, I'm gonna let that cook. You know, let it get hot. Now, if you want to see. If it's the right degrees, go ahead and stick your finger right down the middle. And um, if it burn your finger off, that's probably, you know, the right temperature. I'm um, just messing with y'all. Um, let me just test one and see. Oh, Lord Jesus, it's hot. See, because you want this candy to harden. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm using an electric stove, so I don't really, you know, it ain't gonna harden in the pot. It's just like one of them things that harden once you, you know, put it on the thing. Let me see. Mm. Okay. Maybe I should put a little vanilla in it. Do I have? 
up any vanilla. I don't think I got no vanilla, but that would have smacked, though. When I tell you that would have smacked. Well, I ain't got no vanilla, man. See, this thug life ain't gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? This thug life ain't for me no more, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm a vanilla uh, wanting person. Now, you know what I'm saying? I want all that stuff right in the crib. You know, better safe than sorry. I'm just gonna let this, I don't give a damn if this shit get up to a thousand degrees. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. But look at it though. Okay, so I'm gonna be right back after, you know, um, I get this together, you know, and I, I'll show y'all what's next. Holla. <sighs> Lord Jesus, cousin, I'm glad I turned that camera off because after the camera went off, everything went to hell. I mean, uh, the, the candy was boiling. I'm pretty sure it was over 300 degrees. The shit probably went up to um, 400 degrees. Uh, juvenile in them. Uh, I was rushing, trying to put the candy in there. You know, um, the grapes was falling off and the thing. Um, some of the candy um, got stuck on my finger, almost burned my finger off. I had to eat it real quick before it's, you know, it, you know and then I tried to you know get rid of the candy the excess sugar stuff that was in there I tried to flush it down the toilet and I didn't know that once it hit cold water it got hard so you know none of that matters you know at the end of the day like I said it was my first time making them it's trial and error you know what I'm saying um but what I do suggest to get you a thermometer you know we tried to do it the ghetto way you know what I'm saying it, it, it is what it is you know it, I do this so I can teach y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, get you a thermometer. Make sure the candy is at 300 degrees or whatever, you know. And and then another thing I would suggest, don't use toothpicks. Because they thin and the, can, the grapes fall off into the hot stuff. Then you got to try to, you know, get you some nice screwers. Is it screwer? You know, them little sticks, the wooden sticks, the long, thick ones. Use them instead so you can have reaching room to, you know, really cover the candy. And you got to move fast. Them Jolly Ranchers, they start getting hard. You got to soft, you know. Anyway, I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, and ladybugs. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. Trip Ali's, uh, you know, um... <sighs> That's the end product, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's the end product. You see that crack candy? You see what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at it. It's just so beautiful. You know, I did half of it, you know. Um, I haven't tried them yet. I just want y'all to get into that good goodness. And you can make this anytime, you know, for a party. If you're having a rainbow party, some of your friends coming over. Uh, yeah, man. Okay. So this is going to be the final step. I'm going to try some of this crack candy. Live on camera. And see what it do, do. You know what I'm saying? Got me a piece right here. You see that nice goodness? Mm. Mm. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. The tanginess from the Jolly Ranchers and the sweet grapes and the refreshing grapes. Mmm. These crack grapes is crack. When I tell you, mmm. I'm about to bag these things up and go hit the corner.
You know what I'm saying? Mm. If you're new to the channel, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. You know, don't be stealing my recipe if you don't hit the thumbs up. You know, and um, mm. Lord Jesus, I'm addicted. Go ahead, y'all. Thumbs up this video, like this video, share it, whatever you want to do. We're on our road to 20K. Holler at your favorite cousin, man. I'm out. Crack grape. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Mm.